Packline by SciScape is a walking simulator with emergent narrative features. Let's give it a look. Welcome to Pico Playtime, the video series where I play through some cool Pico 8 games to show to you lovely people. It's a double build today, everyone, and the first game that I'm playing is Packline by Sizescape. After I finish with Packline by Sizescape, I'm going to be moving on to Tolster by Nemo Dev. But let's start things at a good place to start, which is at the start. Let's play Packline by Sizescape. So, you may have seen um, 1D Pac-Man is currently doing the rounds. He's been touted as Game of the Year already. Um, it's Pac-Man, but in one dimension. The original um, game that this is based on, Paku Paku by Kenta Cho. Go and check that one out. Uh, this is a part, a D-Make, whatever you want to call it. This is the Pico 8 version of Paku Paku. So, we are playing a 1D, one-dimensional, 1.5D um pac-man game um here we are so you're um you're on a line and you um it's pac-man so you've got things to collect you've got power pills you've got ghosts um there's fruit which i'm not doing a particularly good job at catching unfortunately um oh dear oh oh oh, oh man um each time you clear the screen um you get um more things appearing more Points, pills. Oh, Pac-Man's a strange game, isn't it? Um, oh, there we go. What did I score there? 1,300. Um, the developer's best score at the moment is 4,970. I'm not going to get in anywhere, anywhere near that. Um, let's see what other people have managed to do in the forum. No one's posted their high scores. Oh, come on, guys. Come on. Post some high scores. Uh, yeah, this is a really fun, very quick, very addictive little game. Now, um, very sadly, there is no sound or music, which I'm very disappointed about. But the gameplay is so much fun. And 1D Pac-Man is like the hot thing at the moment. Uh, before Christmas, it was fruit-based games. Now it's 1D Pac-Man games. You know, these are just the things that, that we have to we have to play now. 1D Pac-Man. Um, so, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, it's it's quite hard if you're not paying attention, which I'm not. Um, it's a really satisfying game loop. Now, the original um, by Kenta Cho. Go and check out Kenta's uh, GitHub page because, wow, they are prolific. <laughs> dozens upon dozens of games every single one looking super unique um so hopefully more of those will get ported to pico 8 in time but um for now um i think you need to go over onto the um lexalofl forum the bbs and you need to give um packline a look because it's a very fun little game as you can see um i seem to have uh, chanced upon a pretty successful tactic which is just moving to the left it's um doing me quite well it was doing me quite well 800 points not quite a high score but you know it's not bad um so yeah whilst i'm disappointed that there's no sound everything else that's in the game is is completely fine it's a very simple game there isn't very much to do um as you can see each time you clear um the screen uh, the level goes up um, you can see that the ghost respawns in a very um, familiar way to anyone who's played Pac-Man. You have heard of Pac-Man, right? It's um, it's a kind of kind of a big deal as a game. Um, I'm not sure what happens if you collect um, fruit because I imagine these levels will kind of go on and on like heaven and hell. Um, so I wonder what happens when you get all of the fruit if you um, get a bigger bonus, maybe. I've not got anywhere near that yet. Um, also not getting anywhere near my high score as well, which is somewhat disappointing. Uh, the controls are very simple. It's a one-dimensional game. You uh, move left or you move right. Now, I called it 1.5D because um, it kind of is, isn't it? If it was a true 1D game, then it would just be on a line and we would be, con we would be controlling either a dot or a line or something. So it's not true 1D. It's got 1.5D. The, um, the best analogy I've heard of this is kind of like how Doom is a kind of 2.5D game. Because it's kind of 3D, but it's kind of not at the same time. It looks 3D, but is it really? 
Well, is this game 1D? Uh, well, the gameplay certainly is, but yeah, the graphics, which are very nice, by the way, classic Pico 8 implementation of Pac-Man graphics here, are very nice. The, uh, the ghost is um, fiendish, fiendishly difficult. Um, as you can see, I'm getting wiped out regularly here. Uh, however, the game is so fast to play, you just you just go one more round. It's a very um, short, very quick game. That's why I've made today a double build because I did want to um, show you this game because it's so much um, so much fun. Oh, that was that was bad. I keep I keep making that mistake. Going for the fruit, it's risky. Anyway, Packline by SciScape. You can currently play it on the BBS. The link is down below. And um, yeah, see if you can do better than 1300. Um, maybe I should post that high score. I don't think it's a terrifically high score. Um, maybe I should practice a bit more before posting. If you do get a high score better than mine, um, post it on the BBS. Uh, show the developer some love and get the game um, get the game high up there in the, um, the form so everyone can see it and give it a star. We need to interact more with these games on the BBS. Support good games that you enjoy, everyone. Anyway, uh, that's Packline. Um, I don't really have a good way of transitioning from one game to another. This double bill thing, it's a new idea I had for... Um, covering small little games. Um, so yeah, on to the next game. Toaster by Nemo Dev is a food cooking simulation game. Let's give it a look. It's not really. Uh, Toaster is a, well, let's just get into it, shall we? Um, before we get into it, let's get into this title screen, everyone. Oh, this is a good one. Um, I do like it when title screens, for no reason other than to look cool, do cool things like the, um, what, are they particle effects? Is, can you mark particle effects off your bingo card for this week? Whatever those circles are, it's nice that the title screen is just doing that because it just looks really cool, doesn't it? And look at that logo, look at that font. Very stylish, nice. Um, so let's have a look at the credits then. As you may have probably guessed if you've played any Pico 8 game before, we are listening to some of Gruber's music. This is Into the Darkness, and I think in the main portion of the game there is dungeon playing. Um, yeah, more Pico 8 games with um, Gruber's music in. QA and Moral Spot by Angela. Thanks, Angela. Um, so this game was made for the Illinois State University 2023 Winter Game Jam. The theme was Stronger Together, and... Um, there is more here than meets the eye. Um, let's get into the game then. So, we um, decide how much we want to um, toast our toast. Um, I like my toast lightly toasted. So, um, I think I usually go for about kind of a 12 o'clock or a 1 o'clock kind of, kind of dial setting. So, let's dial that in. Let's start toasting. Here we are in the game. Action packed. We have got these beautiful, uh, let's get this right. Let's see if I can pronounce this as well. Orthographically projected 3D graphics. Very stylish. Congratulations, toast complete. A bit soft though, well that, that's how I like it though. Try toasting for longer. Uh, so yeah, that was Toaster by Nemo Dev. A really fun, very short um, little Pico 8 game, perfectly formed. I love the 3D graphics in there. The use of Gruber's music was really effective. And I like the, um, the drama and the tension of making some toast. It's a gaming challenge I've not encountered before. And yeah, fantastic gameplay. Um, quite straightforward. I'd really like to see a speed run of this game. Um, I think it'd be interesting to see what direction people can take it in. Anyway, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you again. <laughs> oh, you were thinking how long was I gonna go? No, there is more to this game. Let's play it again, shall we? So, um, yeah, I will admit this. I spent the first two or three plays of this just doing different levels of toast. I tried barely toasting it at all just to see if the toasting game mechanics were well implemented, you know, because if you um, if you don't to if you put it on one, that toast is going to be popping out pretty quick, isn't it? It's not going to be toasted at all. Anyway, we don't need to worry about that because, look, there is this interesting skull icon. Um, yeah, if you put your toast in the toaster for that long, it will get cremated, okay? There'll be nothing left. It'll just be this black, um, evil, burnt toast. Um, disgusting. Anyway, let's try that for fun, just to see what happens. So, yeah, these 3D graphics are really nice. It's quite an unusual style of 3D graphics. Um, but yeah, it's cool. We're pacing up and down. 
I like to um, I like to check my phone when I'm waiting for the toaster to go. It's getting a bit. Oh oh, I think I might have burnt. No, we burnt it. We burnt the toast. Now you must escape toaster hell. But what is this? Okay, tutorial. Right. It feels like we're into um, we're into the main portion of the game now. Yes, yeah, sadly, this game isn't just a toasting simulator. Um, uh, for whatever reason. Can't understand why you'd do this, but Nemo Dev decided to tack an entire extra game on at the end of what was a perfectly formed game. Um, so we've got a new game to, to learn. Um, so we can press left or right to move, jump on platforms. I think it might be a platformer. Um, and we want to collect up to two um, bits of toast. Let's press X to toast some bread. Stronger when toasted together. There's the theme of the jam, everyone. And um, here we are. Oh, we have definitely got some more of um, uh, Gruber's music. I think I actually have used... Oh, dear. I think I've actually used this um, music in one of my games. 160. We didn't obtain any bread, and we only reached 16 foot. Pathetic. Let's try that again. Oh, we um, we can actually put a high score in. I've actually um, posted a high score. Um, let's... Um, Oh, this is strange. I'm going the wrong way for the alphabet. Right, my I like nothing better than a, a PowerPoint. So let's um let's put that in to show my love for Microsoft's presentation software. There we go. High score, there we go, number one. Yeah, I should probably have um, posted some more high scores. Uh let's let's try that again. Actually, let's just restart because now uh, we actually have the option to, even though it's my favourite part of the game, we do actually have the option now to skip the toasting of the bread, which is like, why would you do that? The game's called Toaster. Um, I need to like take this game a little bit more seriously because, um, yeah, I've been making lots of sarcastic jokes and comments at the game's expense. Ugh. It's um, it's a very well thought out game, this. Uh, that must be a new high score. We got two pieces of bread and we managed 15 feet. Um, nice, it remembers my name from the last time. I love it when high score screens do that. Uh, we don't have the curse of AAA posting another vicious high score. Um, let's do it again. Now, why have I decided to do this as a double bill with um, Packline? Well, um, this wasn't my idea, this is my wife's idea. Um, this is something my wife noticed. Um, the two games, one of them goes side to side, one of them goes up and down. Isn't that um, isn't that an interesting little um, little quirk? So we've got a side to side game in pack line, but if you don't like going left and right, if you prefer going up and down or north and south, perhaps, uh, well, you can play this game. If you like going in all four directions and you've got a spare ten minutes, why not play both? Um, these games are quite um, short to the point and don't waste any of your time, so you can quite easily. Um, play both, and I think you should. And I've just noticed that my favourite thing about the title screen is in the background. Um, it's been there all along, I suppose. I only just um, noticed it. The um, the handling of this, then <laughs> the handling, the handling of the toaster. Let's talk about the um, the physics modelling of the toaster because um, my toaster just doesn't perform like this when it's in a, a platforming situation. No. Um, the platforming is um, rather nice. Um, the plat the toaster <laughs> has got quite a bit of momentum to it. Um, it kind of drifts quite a bit. So the movement has a, a nice kind of challenge to it. I've got into a kind of zen state now with this game. I'm uh, ascending quite effectively. But um, as you can see, the first couple of games I played took me a little while to kind of... Um, get into the zone but now I feel like I am in the zone I'm in the the toast zone um, that lovely kind of golden brown zone where it's it just comes out just right and um, that's the zone we want to be in um, I'm gonna stop making toast based jokes uh, for now until I think of another one um, yeah the 3d graphics the Aussie author graph I've already forgotten the word um, the 3d graphics <laughs> look really cool I'm not happy with this let's 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 get the word right it's a good word as well. The orthographic 3D effect. Orthographically projected 3D graphics. Uh, I'm still um, ascending in this um, toast hell. 
I've got my requisite um, two slices of toast. Now the game is prompting me to press X. I wonder what will happen if I press X. Shall I try it? I'll get to 5,000 first. There we go. <gasps> wow. Whoa. We get a boost. Nice. Um, this is quite good, isn't it? Now, my inkling, my suspicion is that the higher we um, ascend through Toaster Hell, the more um, we are going to get of these collapsible platforms and the moving platforms as well. Um, I can feel, oh, I can feel the game getting a little bit more um, tricky. I had to, um, I had to use my dash then to um, avoid certain toast-based death. Oh, oh, that was um, that. Oh, oh, that was a good one. Seven thousand. It's a bit better than five hundred, isn't it? I got eight pieces of bread. Five hundred ninety feet. Let's um, let's just work that out. One hundred and seventy-nine point eight meters. Seven thousand and eighty inches. Not point one 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 seven four two four four two four four miles. Not not that far actually. Anyway, I, I imagine it's a much longer way out of hell. In fact, my suspicion is that this is probably going to be in one of these endless jumping games, a bit like um, doodle. Doodle jump. That's the one, isn't it? So there you go. Um, I do apologise for my extremely um, sarcastic, not entirely taking seriously the game um, coverage of this. Um, both of these games are really fun. Like I said, if you want to go side to side, you want to play pack line. Everyone is playing 1D Pac-Man at the moment. You can too on Pico 8. Um, but if you prefer doodle jumping, if you prefer toast, if you prefer um, toaster pastries like Pop-Tarts, um, then maybe you should give toaster a look um, for some nice, simple, arcadey, platformy action. See if you can smash this high score of mine and post about it on the, um, the forum. The um, developer will definitely appreciate it, and so will I. Uh, so yeah, really well made game. I hope um, if this if this um, game jam the um, what was it? Let's get it right. If the Illinois State University 2023 Winter Game Jam was competitive um, or ranked, then I hope this game um, came out in first place because it's, um, it's really good. Um, yeah, a really fun game. I didn't look at anything to do with this game when I first um, loaded it up in Splore. Um, I thought, oh look, it's just one of these little mini games where, you know, some, you just make some toast. I did a couple of times, I'm like, oh, okay, you know, might move on. I'm glad I didn't move on, I'm glad I did try turning it up to, um, to 10. Because then I, I'd have missed out on the whole game. <laughs> See, Pico 8 can surprise you, can't it? All these little quirky little games you get in Pico 8. Anyway, that was today's double bill. Two games for the price of one. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you like the double bill thing, I might do it again because there is quite a few small, short Pico 8 games which don't really fit so well into the normal style of video that I do. So if I find more like this, I might do some more of these kind of things. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again very soon.